Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. In this one we're going to be taking on Millennia, the Blade of Mikella. Now, uh, for my specific loadout, and this is the kind of boss where um, you need to be pretty confident in, in your strategy with her and kind of lean into it. So for example, um, she's fairly susceptible to bleed, so if you have a bleed weapon and are able to apply like blood grease and you know you want to bring in something like Black Knife Tish or the Mimic, Make sure that you are equipped in kind where you're going to be continually um, applying the bleed proc, for example. Um, I'm assuming she probably won't be susceptible to poison or madness because not many of the bosses are. She is completely shut down by something like the um, fingerprint shield um, because it basically she won't be able to knock any of your stamina down when she's trying to, well not any, but she'll struggle to bring your stamina down when you're trying to block her. But anything kind of lesser than that, then she's probably going to... Um, uh, break your guard, but the finger and shield, uh, especially with, like something that increases your guard, is seriously going to close down her ability to um, get much damage on you. Uh, for us, then, I'm going to try something that seemed to work quite well in the uh, in the walkthrough. Now, on my um, right hand here, we have a dagger with the bloodhound step on. Hopefully, this doesn't screw over my mimic too much. Um, something like a magic uchi katana would have been way better uh, with the bloodhound step on it. That's just not how I've built uh, this character. We probably could go and go and spec one out now. And if we struggle, maybe that's what I'll go and do. Um, but actually, what I'm planning to do here is stun lock her a lot with the Adula's Moonblade. So provided the Mimic um, joins me in using it, that's the only spell that I've got on there, um, this should actually be a pretty hilarious fight because it was actually kind of ridiculous when we did, <laughs> did it on the stream. So we're going to give it a go. Let's see how this goes. Uh, with the thing playing, I do want to get myself some photos here. Let's watch this. I dreamt for so long. My flesh was dull gold, and my blood rotted. Corpse after corpse. This should be enough first. Let's go. Um, this should be pretty funny. If whoa, if I can get my uh, self off here. Wow. So as you can see, she's mega aggressive. <laughs> Straight in for death. Um, actually lasted longer there than in my actual first encounter with her, um, where she opted to go straight for a grab. Um, I don't know if that's what she's supposed to do. I don't know if she's supposed to get you in the first part like that. Like, we didn't even get a chance to do anything. Um, it's just hilarious. <laughs> I do find it funny. So anyway, we're going to pop the physic now, and then we can uh, be a little bit more serious with what we're uh, intending to do here. And when she's far away from you, look, you can see that she uh, opts to be in like a walking mode. And she'll stay in that until you can kind of within an engagement range of her. So we can actually abuse that and use it to our advantage uh, quite a bit. That's really not good. Summon is uh, deciding not to use the spells. But as you can see, we can knock her out of a lot of her moves here with the Adula's Moonblade. So we're going to move back a bit now. Pop one of these. should have not bothered with the dagger at all because the issue here is um, she's able to heal from her attacks um, so that's just not going to be great for us at all wow the damage is ridiculous <laughs> okay there's the next round I've opted to take the dagger off we'll put the shield on Let's see if that helps us out or not so again we want to give the, uh, the summon here a chance to get in there come on summon such cool music in here. I love everything about this boss fight. I don't care. She gets, she gets away with being tough. 
Ops to use the weapon art out of everything. There we go, now we're talking. I didn't realize how much that would screw with her uh, ability to do stuff as well. The uh, weapon art. Stop that. <laughs> Maybe Tish is the better plan here because that healing herself is real bad. Oh man. <laughs> The Moonblade is just great for this, I have to say. So this is going to get us into the second phase. Wish she's going to go crazy. This is kind of why I want a good hamster. <laughs> Probably could have done with having a ranged attack here as well. Roll out the way that it's gonna be bad otherwise. We're gonna run out of FP. Ouch, I knew I was gonna get hit by something. Oh my god. Okay, so in this round, I'm gonna actually try out Black Knife Teach. I've not used it before. This could be fun. Could be a mistake for all I know. Um, but we'll see. Obviously, make it like Millennia's hard. I don't mind showing a couple of deaths against Millennia. That's already way more aggressive. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Tish is a beast. Yeah, that's way stronger than the Mimic. <laughs> Tish then taking it, taking it on on his own. Let's get a flask on here. Yeah, that, that burn is mega. Oh, my God. Oh, I knew that was going to hurt a lot. Oh, my God. Fuck. Okay, and so next round, we're going to have Tish and we're going to have Bloodhound step on. I think this is probably the most reasonable way to be coming in here. Now, obviously, as a mage, we could be setting up for the one-shot on her here. Um, but I would prefer not to do something like that. Um, there is, like, a way to obviously set your character up here to do, um, like, unlimited... Well, not unlimited, but basically, like, 30 seconds, like, worth of, like, a beam damage. We could literally burst down this phase. Um, but I just, I just don't feel... Uh, that's my thing. Oh man, couldn't even blood step out of there. Most hilariously, in the previous run, I uh, <laughs> I equipped the um, the invisibility one <laughs> rather than blood rather than blood step. That was kind of funny. I have to say, I'm sure there's someone that won't really won't appreciate it, but it's fine. Which is why I couldn't dodge out of the way. It's kind of hilarious. So now when she comes at me. Realistically speaking, I should. I need to test it this a little bit. But we should be able to just kind of get out of your way now. But we could even probably take you on from range. Because I don't know how well she'll be able to catch up with me now. I can't believe how much damage she does with that. It's so stupid. Faces over now, though. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, man. <laughs> I was busy looking at my, st at my uh, spells there. I should have been washing. Entirely my own fault. Teach in with, like, good damage under there, though. Oh, we need to be like, I don't know how, like, auto she can hit you here. Oh, man. That freaking combo, almost unavoidable even with the Bloodhound step on. Out the way! 
I knew something was going out the way of the explosion. You stay still there, darling. We're gonna get you now. Tisha's like basically killed you. We just gotta live now. That uh, damage over time's got you. A victory. <laughs> uh, I didn't count the tries, but it, only, it did only take ten minutes. Um, but I feel like it's worth leaving all the deaths in because I would I would much rather you guys see the methodology behind behind like um, defeating a boss like this rather than you know I just skip to a victory without you guys kind of seeing like you know oh we change we change this bit of the set we all take the shield off we put the shield on we change the summon that we're using um and the discovery of the black knife teach is absolutely way better than the mimic um well I don't know if I'm going to use the mimic anymore I have to say and you can get that oh it's after the mimic because you have to continue um, running's quest. So I guess that makes sense. This is here. Uh, we interact with this to... Yeah, here we go. Do that, and now we get Michaela's Needle. Which we, um, need... for the curing of the Friends of Flame Ending. Which is good. So that's all sorted. We'll spend our runes, and that's going to be the final part of the Halig Tree done. Which is good. And then we can move, um, yeah, lots of FP. This is kind of a, this is kind of the way I want to have my aggressive play. And this is why I want to try the Uchi Katana out. In fact, you know what, let's do it. We can do that with this character, can't we? We can play around. Where is it? Uh, <laughs> what am I doing? Round table hall, please. Well, literally, all I need to do is upgrade new Uchi Katana, and we can actually play around with it. And we actually get to recover some points in, um, in decks, because... Um, it's got lower stat requirements and will do more damage, which is obscene. The thing it won't have, we won't have the, uh, we won't have the, the crazy strike thing, but we will have this mega dodge that you guys have just seen me using, so, um, where are we, strength and armament. And, you know, it becomes, it just becomes an option. Where is it? Uchi, uchi, uchi. I guess you guys don't really need to see all this, but I just want to hammer my point home here. Where are we? Sort chest. Weapons. Katanas. Where are you? Katanas. 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 Here we go. Which katana? Oh, I've already got it plus that as well. Very nice. Plus, it'd be nice to use a different weapon for a bit. Uh, let's see, I want to strength and armament. We're going to come over to the Uchi Katana here. Um, and technically speaking, there's nothing stopping us dual wielding them. If we wanted. Uh, and then, yes, 25. And then I want to Ash of War the Uchi Katana. And I want to put on it Blood Hamster. Magic. And just to show you guys this, that I'm not lying when I say this has more damage than the Moon Veil. Um, I'll put them both on. You guys can see. Uh, see where it says um, R1 armament and then L2 armament. So it, it out damages it by like, is that 50? No, 60. So that does more damage, uh, a little bit less ble bleed build up I suppose, but it's the same length, right, you can, you can show it off here, same length, so you, your attack range is basically going to be the same, um, yeah, we can have both on, the problem is, um, well you'd have to put that, no, no, yeah, you don't want that there, it's a, it's a really gr aggressive playstyle because you don't have a shield, right, instead you have the dodge, so just kind of play around with it a little bit. And I do like playing around with it in the, uh, where are we? It's not like the hardest place, but it is nice to play around with it around here when you have these kind of build setups. Although technically the Moon Veil, I suppose, isn't at max level. Mm. Right, but now we can see like, you know, we can 
do stuff like jump in and have a double double hit out of that. And do some pretty good damage with it. Um, we can, you know, Bloodhound step into R2. R1 even. Can blood step into like a double attack. Alright, so we can, you know. Oop. We don't get completely mauled by these people. Um, so now we're more like a magic uh, dual wielding ninja, which is kind of cool. Quite like it. Haven't really kind of tested it extensively yet as to whether or not I think this is kind of the best way to feel the mage. Um, because like with the sh with the shield failing so much, trying to completely avoid the damage with the bloodhound step just seems superior. But you guys left to let me know what you think. Do you think this is cool or not? Technically speaking, this would be stronger with two Uchis. We can't do that until New Game Plus, unless you have a really good friend. Either way, that's where I'm going to close this video out. Obviously, you guys can feel free to experiment with whichever weapons you wish. The other really strong int weapon, <laughs> uh, which is more of a level 200 weapon in my opinion, is the uh, Royal Knight Sword. But we ain't going to be playing with that anytime soon. So, In the next episode then, we have done... Uh, everything that I can think of that we need to do. All the quest lines are complete that we can complete. Why have we got NPCs down here? That's a merchant. That's a respect lady. Any other quests? Oh yeah, we could go and see if yeah, they're still there. They haven't moved. Um, they'll obviously move once the end game thing comes. I was sure they were supposed to move this way, but once, once we've gone past here, they're going to get kind of burnt, I think. So I guess we'll see what happens. Um, I think their quest must be stuck. I'm sure they're supposed to move. Hmm. So, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll go through, like, a checklist or something. But I'm probably going to do that before... Before the actual final boss, because I think that makes more sense to me. Just because the only thing that we can miss is the, uh, Bolt of Grand Sacks, and we already got that, so that's fine. Um, and I'll probably have that as a warning beginning of the next episode, maybe we should start. Start in here, just show you where that is. I don't know, it's already the walkthrough. I feel like it's not my fault that people join late, to be honest. So yeah, in the next episode then, we're going to be starting um, Faramazula. And for that, we need to be over at the, uh, uh, the giant pot here. So we'll be heading in from the fire giant Grace. So I'll see you guys soon for that. Have a good one.